Hey everybody, it is finally me, Dr. Jazz. Thanks for, um, first of all, uh, opening this video and checking it out. Uh, in the last couple of months, I have been on a finally me for real journey. Um, and this journey involves four things, the making of me, the meaning of me, the messy me, and the miracle me. For the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be dropping a video on each one of those to share what each one of those mean to me. Of course, if you haven't registered yet, we're having our Finally Me For Real conference. And people often ask me, why in the world are you doing a Finally Me For Real conference, particularly for women? I feel it's my assignment in this season to help empower and equip women to be who they were authentically created to be. Why is this message so important to me? Because for the first 50 years of my life, I can say that I have, well, let's say the first 30 years, I have worked very hard in being everything but me. I have been a people pleaser, a pulpit pleaser, pastor's pleaser, church pleaser, you name it, the whole nine yards. And when I turned 50, that scripture, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul, uh, just became alive to me. Because I, I have to say that I've gained a lot of things. I've gained popularity, prosperity. I've gained opportunity to preach on different platforms in different circles. But at the end of the day, I wasn't too... Um, happy with myself I wasn't too in love with myself and so at 50 I just came to that place that book you know that book halftime uh, that pivotal point in your life where you said uh, the second half of my life I'm not living with people in mind I'm living with God and the people who really matters in mind so I started this journey of self-discovery. I feel like I'm just starting over, starting to discover who I am because I put so many emphasis on what I do as a pastor, as a preacher, as an evangelist, that I really didn't take the time to do some self-discovery. I think oftentimes in the church world, the emphasis is on looking up to God or looking out to others but never looking within. And um, October of 2018, I decided that I was going to look within. I made a decision that I'm going to give myself one year uh, commitment to self-discovery. No dating, no, uh, the whole nine yards. Just one year to do some self-discovery, to see uh, look within and see if I like what I see or uh, and thing and so I started this journey and it has been an amazing journey it has been a painful journey it has helped me realize so many things and one of the things I realize is the difference between my net worth and my self worth my net worth has to do with where everything is in my pocket my self worth has to do with who I am on the inside and that is very important for us, particularly as women. So I've been on a journey. I don't know where uh, the destiny is. I don't even know where I will land. But boy, self-discovery has been more uh, exciting than any discovery. And I want to invite you to join me on this journey in the Finally Me tribe, Finally Me movement to get on your own frequency, to get in your own rhythm, to get, to move according to your drum beat. And it, I know it's scary because I was scared, but I am so happy being me because I took the journey. I hope you'll join me October in Washington, D.C., finally me for real. So join me as I will be launching a finally me one year program.